to another one of the famous old trout lures uh, and this one is an ace of spades and ace of spades is a, a matuka style pattern so I'm taking a long shank hook here now I'm going to use a, a silver oval as a rib simply because it's easier uh, although you could also use a a flat silver rib if you want and a body of uh, black chenille so tie both those in full length and then wind on the chenille So a matuka basically has two hackles which will lie across the top of the body but there's no need for this underneath portion of it so I measure it up for length and then strip off that underneath portion and then we'll tie those two hackles back to back on top of the hoop. So now if you just dampen your fingers slightly and pull all those other fibers up what we now need to do is to go up the body and as the ribs come through We'll try not to trap down fibers from further forward if we can help it than where the wrap is going through. This takes a little bit of practice at separating out the fibers. Get to the front. We tie down our rib. And trim off the excess. And any fibers that are not playing ball, you can just pull off. That's the basic body tied. Now this fly had a throat of guinea fowl. So I'll take a bit of guinea fowl here. Strip off a bunch. I'll turn my fly upside down. And I'm going to tie that bunch in underneath just as if I was tying a wing in uh, only in reverse just upside down and then trim that off up in behind the eye finish the fly off it has uh, like a wing of uh, bronze mallard. I'm going to take a slip out of uh, matching bronze mallard fibers, one from each side, feathers sorry. Put 
the two slips together and sort of slide the tent over our flying and now with my finger add a bit of spit saliva and create a soft loop in between my fingers and thumb and then tighten that out by pulling upwards super glue on my tie and thread there and while that's wet wind on ahead and we'll finish it There we have classic track layer, Ace of Spades.